want to be someone. I want to be part of something. Okay, he's another one. Oh, mate! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is Mark Gordon here at the Odeon West End. The point for the fan carpet at the world premiere of the Hooligan Factory. Here's how we got on. So guys, welcome to the fan carpet again. Um, Thank you for having us back. Thank that, you. The first that's one was right. lovely. Uh, so, that's I mean, right. We're going to struggle to top that, I'll be honest. Yeah. But you know, we'll try. Oh, we've got loads of hits on YouTube already, so... <laughs> this man, innit? He's Bowie. <laughs> yeah. um, just tell us a little bit about your character in the movie. Well, I play a character called Danny, who's a young lad, um, who's looking for somewhere to, to belong. He wants to be part of something. Um, and he meets this lunatic, old Dexy. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, and Dex takes him under his wing, and they go on, on a journey. Journey as old as hooliganism itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it, didn't he? He loved it. Liar, liar. This geezer, actually, I've got to pick this geezer up because he spotted so many references when we first, when, when, he was, when yeah. we were interviewing. So I love that, yeah. Love yeah. That. Like I said, I, I always love it. You know, I'm going to keep coming to see it for you. <laughs> really? you love, know. love that. At least we've got one ticket sold. So. <laughs> I'll play uh, Dex Jr., Dex's son. So, yeah. I play trumpet in the film. Uh, yeah, trumpet is uh, he's a very key, he's part of the gang. He's part of the hooligans. He's a very very keen hooligan. He loves the idea. He's obsessed with hooliganism. He's obsessed with uh, he's obsessed with it all and the genre itself. And he's uh, he's got a slight drug habit. And he um, he's up for anything. He's down to he's down to die for the cause of, of hooliganism. Yeah, Weasel. Uh, he's 19 years old. Um, he's part of the football, uh, yeah, the football factory. Um, before that, he's kind of had a bad, uh, a bad upbringing, bad childhood. Uh, his mum and dad was a crackhead, so he's kind of uh, not really had a lot of love. Uh, but as soon as he's come to the factory, he's got all the love he needs now, and he's just on his missions, uh, being a hooligan, and that's what he does best. We have a character called Midnight. He is sort of part of the original hooligans, which is Dex, um, Bullet, and Midnight. Uh, they all sort of grew up together. He's a bit of a smoothie. Um, likes women. Um, but also sort of is very loyal to his mates. But wants to get out of the hooligan game. My character's called Old Bill. He's an undercover policeman in the, the football hooligan. The Hooligan Factory film. And uh, he's not very good at being undercover. He kind of lets it slip quite often, certain things uh, about the police force and whatever. But they're, they're not that intelligent, so um, they're not that good at picking up, you know, that he's an undercover policeman. Well, the boys called up, and I'm really pleased for uh, Nick and Jason Mazza. I'm really proud of them for what they've done. But we, uh, he called me up and said, listen, we're doing a little spoof on a couple of movies you starred in, so would you come in and do a cameo? I said, absolutely. It's a little bit different, but I do get to shoot Danny Dyer in the head, which is a lot of fun for me. Yeah, that, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's great, yeah. I know they've done an amazing job, and I know a lot of people I know who I respect have found the film very funny. So hopefully they ain't wrong. Any memorable moments on set? I remember the first time I'd done a scene and they thought it was real and we weren't recording so, so I, that was a bit of a bummer but it was so funny. Listen, it's good to get the boys back, you know, it's the boys I've worked with before, it's good to see them again. I did my little bit with Craig Fairbrother, which was lovely, he's a dear friend of mine, but it was a lot of fun on set. And it's always nice to do these, uh, these you know, these independent British movies and, we, you know, we got to get behind them and support them, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. I can't think of any specific ones. I just enjoyed it all. It was a great experience. It was a great bunch of people, and uh, it was great fun. It was just very silly. It's very the whole film's very silly. It's light-hearted, really. I, I, I think ultimately it is light-hearted. And I think that's the whole point, and I hope people don't miss that. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Every, everything. So funny. Um, the writing is superb. Writing is superb. That's one reason why I took the part. So, I mean, every day was a funny moment. It was very cold, I have to say that, you know, and it sort of, but we, we got through it. Oh, yeah, seriously, yeah, yeah. I'm so proud to be a part of it. I know we're, you know, they're ripping off foot soldier, Green Street, the business, and all that stuff. Um, I mean, the, the, the scene that I did, me, Tamar, and Danny, um, I've not seen it, but everybody said they, you know, they laughed and they found it enjoyable. So, just to be a part of that, I was, I was happy to take the piss out of myself. Nah, mate, have you met my friend Makita?
Are you excited to see uh, the film tonight? Yeah, I've actually seen it already. Um, I saw it when they first put it together, like maybe a few months ago. So um, it's brilliant. So it'll be good to see it again, kind of, you know, graded. I mean, I've seen it and I love it. Yeah, so. it's brilliant. I mean, it's funny because I'm not really a huge fan of those kinds of films. So I was like, oh, I'm not going to understand it. I'm not going to get the jokes. But it was brilliant and I loved it and I thought it was hilarious. So I think it does appeal to more than just hooligans. I've done stand-up live on TV before to a million people on ITV2 on the Jungle Switchover show, so it's not like I've not done stand-up without delay. What's different about tonight is the fact that it's a cinema. People are in their seats, they're sat back in their seats and they're very relaxed. Thank you very much. This guy just made me do it. Bastard. Yeah, so there's that. It's just the shape of the room is what the comedians will be thinking about. You know when you're sat back in your chair and yeah, But really, it should be getting a laugh. It'll be brilliant. I'm going to play it down the camera a bit because the temperature Temptation will be to make the room laugh, but if you're watching it in commentary on a screen, it's not going to be very engaging, so I'll be doing a bit of that down the camera. Well, obviously tonight is a big night because it's being screened all around everywhere. So I don't know if I managed to blag that because it's meant to be a sort of a, a straight to YouTube event. So we've done well, really. Yeah, we have done well. There's a lot of quotes. Welcome to the fucking neighbourhood. Uh, I, think, I think Nick loves that quote. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we all do. <laughs> that one. I like it when he says, hold your fucking hand out and let me see how old you are. Uh, 23, Gemini. Because it's, it's a funny play on the scene in a uh, football factory between um, Danny Dyer and someone else. And um, who is it? But, yeah, no, I like that bit. I thought that was funny. There were some crackers in it. Jog on was a fantastic one. Oh, jog on. Brilliant. Uh, just jog on's always a favourite one, isn't it? I think they've said that a million times, jog on or I'll cut you first, because it's a piss like the football factory, I'm sure. So. Yeah, my... I've got a couple of little things in there that'll make people laugh. Mine is Stanley as well, so... Stanley, yeah, the Stanley scene's really funny, isn't it? I haven't seen it, but I've seen clips of it. Makita, uh, you melt. To be honest, yeah. Um, <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the neighbourhood. Yeah. How do you like to be in a hooligan film? Um, I mean, I'm from like I'm a London girl, so it would make sense for me to be in something like that. Like I always play really kind of straight roles with girl next door, so it'd be nice to do something quite gritty. But I'm not sure if I'll be a hooligan as such. But we'll see what happens. I'm a fan of lots of stuff. Uh, football, Liverpool Football Club. I'm a big Liverpool Football Club fan. Um, films, music, art. Starbucks? Starbucks. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Is that good? Men? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you can say anything, it's alright. That's it, those two. I like the Coen Brothers. I mean, I found that very funny. Um, I'm not a huge fan of stand-up or things like that. I like, you know, Sarah Silverman. I like Sarah Silverman a lot. Um, what else do I like? Dave Chappelle. They're all American ones, I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, Russell Brown's very funny. He's good, I like him. And, uh, and he, uh, him and her, like that, that's good. I am a kind of fan of football, I'll be watching it. And, um, yeah, so, I, I, I do, I kind of like action movies and comedies as well, so, yeah. So you're looking forward to the World Cup, then? Basically, yeah, yeah. How do you think we're going to do? <laughs> very well. Very good. Very well, hopefully. Yeah, well, yeah sum up in 30 seconds why people should go and watch your movie okay so he's in it i'm in it oh, mate. okay he's in it um yeah and also um despite the cameos from gosling DiCaprio, that's not a reason to go and see it what it is us brits what we do well is really what we do really well is gritty is gritty films and sometimes you can leave the cinema going i really enjoyed that and appreciated that but actually i feel a bit down now whereas our film hopefully you'll come along <laughs> And you're just going to have a cackle for an hour and a half and have a right good laugh, have some popcorn, hopefully have a cheesy squeeze if you've got a little bit of this with you. you know, and have a good side. time. Yeah, little, little, little bit on the side. And have a good time. I think you should go and see The Hooligan Factory because one, it's the funniest, two, there hasn't been a spoof movie in a long time, everyone loves scary movie, but come and see the UK version of our spoofs, The Hooligan Factory. Okay, it's, uh, it's got a great cast of brilliant actors, it's very well written, it's a wonderful director, a wonderful producer, and uh, it's, uh, it's great fun, it's very silly, you shouldn't take it too seriously, it's, 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 a, sort of, it's a celebration of a very successful British genre. The movie is a spoof based on uh, Football Factory, The Firm, um, all those kind of, uh, The Rise of the Foot so Soldier. Uh, it's a comedy based on all those things. Very funny, brilliant performances from everybody. You should all come and see it because it's British film, support the British film industry. I'm in it. I need work afterwards. Um, what else? No, you'll have a great time. There you go.
basically tells you about what happens if you're a hooligan and you're part of a gang. And hooliganism. I've got lots of films coming out. I'm in the Secret Service, which is coming out in October. A film called A Little Chaos of Alan Rickman. I've got a Channel 4 series coming out called The Mill. An ICV war thing where I play Siegfried to soon. And I've, got, I've just finished a film called Suffragette, which is coming out next year. Uh, which had a wonderful cast, a wonderful film. Um, so yeah, I'm a busy, busy guy and I've got lots of stuff coming out, so it's a good time. I've just wrote a film called MDMA, which is set in the vein of the business. Uh, it's another story. Uh, it's IB for 1990s, and my son's got uh, the lead role in it. And we start shooting this year uh, in IB for September. Well, I'm still in Game of Thrones at the minute, and then um, the next film I've just filmed is called um, Child 44. I had scenes with Gary Oldman, Tom Hardy, that's coming out in October. Um, just uh, just finished the film, it's out on DVD now, um, not in cinema, but it's called uh, A Long Way Down, where I played a character called Matty, and he, he had uh, severe cerebral palsy. Um, so I like really, uh, I like taking roles where I've never done before, where he, you know, he had cerebral palsy, and then this one I'm just kind of, uh, you know, it's a comedy, uh, but I'm playing more, uh, just like a wild child basically, um, uh, and Game of Thrones is a different character. It is, it's uber violent, um, but for the right reasons. It's about a contract killer who decides to leave the firm that he works for and the guys who run it come after him and his family. Um, but it's a beautiful film, I'm really, really proud of it. My son, Luke Fairbrass, produced it. Um, and it is looking stunning. We're in the, we're in the edit now, and uh, we'll have a trailer very shortly. Well, that's it from us here at the world premiere of the Hoodland Factory. Hope you enjoyed it. Here at the Odeon West End for the fan carpet. Remember, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> you flash cockney bastards. Do you know Stanley? Nah, mate. Do you know my little friend Makita? You're unbelievable.